Today I will walk you through how to use the free and easy video editing software Animatica. This is the one I use for my videos. Um, it's very user friendly. Uh, that's why I use it. It's great for creating YouTube videos, short films, or even stop motion animation. My video offers you the tools that you need to get started in Animatica and start editing some excellent videos. Start by opening up the app. It will bring you to this screen. Your saved projects will show up here. This back arrow will return you back to this home screen. Now let's start a new video. I always start by adding my video clips and photos. Once you click on one of the clips, it will let you further edit that clip. The volume control is right on the clip itself, as well as the option strips on the bottom. Let's get the screen recorder out of the way. Clips can be sped up up to four times faster or slowed to one-fourth the speed. Splitting a clip just cuts it at whichever time the video is currently at. So if there is a blooper in the film I want to edit, I play the video until just before the blooper starts. I pause the video and then split it. And then split it again at the end of the blooper. Then click on the blooper clip and it gives you the option to delete it. I use the splitting function the most. In between clips, if you click it while it's gray, you can create transitions from one clip to the next. There's many options, some more creative and fun than others. Personally, I don't always use transitions in my videos, and when I do, it's often just fading to white. And you can always change your mind and click None to get rid of a transition change you made. Going into effects, you can change the entire video clip selected and make it glitchy, swirly, change its lighting, or a variety of other effects. Down here, it gives the option to view the changes in comparison to the raw footage without the effect. The scale here allows you to adjust the intensity of the effect. Another option I use a lot is transform. You can scale up or down the video, zooming in or out. Sliding the horizon scale can tilt the horizon for you. Then you have the option of sliding the view more to the left or right, and upwards or downwards. I'm going to try to center this one as much as I can now, also checking that I don't have the black strip on the side where the video is cut off from.
The background button is useful only when you have a scaled down or cropped down image smaller than the screen view. So let me show you how to do that real quick. I'll crop down the edges and adjust the size here to how I want it. Jumping back to the background button, you have several options like blurry, striped, and colored backgrounds. I frequently use the adjust feature, which allows you to amp up the brightness, exposure, contrast, sharpness, and more. You can even blur the footage here. You can have the film clip fade in or out. There is also the motion option where the screen focus will zoom in to a designated area causing a movement. Personally, I don't use these features much, but it is worth experimenting with as it can quite possibly benefit your film. Here we have the option to duplicate or copy the clip. And this rewind arrow can undo the last change made. The smiley face here only asks for you to rate the app. Sometimes you want to keep the original audio attached to your film. Whether you keep it or not, you can always add audio. Maybe eight or so music tones with different vibes come preloaded onto Animatica. I often record voiceovers on my phone, get them uploaded onto my computer, and then add them to my videos. Audio clips can be overlapped. Audio volume can be adjusted, but only so much. If you have quiet audio, it's hard to make it much louder. Overlays give you the option to add text, emojis, photos, and even other videos on top of your pre-existing film. These circle tabs allow you to adjust the size of the overlay. The overlays are time-based, so you can slide the ends to determine start and finish. With text overlays, you can change the font, color, and even animate it. Audio and overlay clips can also be split, deleted, or even duplicated as well. To save your progress, hit the back button and it will give you the option to save. Always make sure to do this as you don't want to risk losing your work. I've done that before and it's a bummer. This will save it within Animatica itself. Once you are completed editing your video, it's time to save and export the final product. 
Settings here can be adjusted for a higher quality, but the standard settings work well too. After saving, you can close Atomonica and open up your files. A file will be saved under a folder titled Anamonica. A few other features Anamonica offers are video stabilization, audio extraction, and video reversing. I'd also like to add that if you are doing stop motion animation, that instead of uploading video clips and editing those, you'll be uploading images and adjusting the time frames on them. I suggest keeping this video on hand while you're working in Anamonica, just in case you forget a step or two. Please comment down below. Let me know if you think this video has been helpful for you, if you've had any success in this area of video editing, or if you have any further questions. Thank you so much for watching.